Hello everyone and welcome to this new installment in our Deck Spotlight series, where we'll be focusing on highlighting the latest and greatest decks of the Boomsday Project. In this video, we'll be breaking down what makes Death Rattle Hunter one of the top decks to climb with. Death Rattle Hunter existed prior to Boomsday being released, but actually got a pretty important tool for its arsenal in the form of Spider Bomb. The bomb allows the deck to make more consistent use of its play deads and terror scale stalkers while removing a threat from the opponent and developing something on the board. While some players have transitioned to a mid-range build of Hunter with a secret package, Death Rattle Hunter is a proven archetype with very strong matchups across the board. Alp brought Death Rattle Hunter in his APAC playoff lineup. Smoke Salmon hit rank 4 legend at the end of August season with his list. Kogam recently hit top 50 with a similar list, which shows that the deck definitely has legs going into the September ladder season. The way Death Rattle Hunter wants to win each game is to play out cheap Death Rattles to combo with Play Dead and Terror Scale Stalker to gain an early board advantage and snowball a lead. From there, the deck wants to keep control of the board and generate value off of cards like Carnivorous Cube, Death Stalker Rexar, and Kathrina Winter Wisp to close out games in short order. Of course, the best laid plans of mice and men often go awry, so the deck needs backup plans for when things don't go according to script. The issue that some players take with this deck is that it has an inherent weakness to aggressive strategies. That's not to say you can't beat aggro, but it's just that aggro generally has a leg up on you. Because of that, the deck plays a large package of cards designed to either gain the board back from a lost position or to keep a board and snowball a lead. Candleshot and Hunter's Mark work together to be a two-card answer for any problematic minion you may be facing. Candle Shot on its own is a great card against the decks with cheap aggressive minions like Odd Paladin, Odd Rogue, and Zoo Warlock. Spider Bomb is the newest card in the deck and one of the cards that really makes this deck shine. Where before the deck would have trouble fighting for board, Bomb combined with Stalker or Play Dead or having it face down a couple minions can win the board back on its own and cause a real headache for your opponent. Flanking Strike is the premier card you'll be looking for against aggressive strategies. Because of its ability to kill a minion and leave one behind for you, Strike will generally end up being a 2 for 1 in terms of card value, and that goes a long way in fighting back against quicker decks. Giggly Inventor is just one of the strongest and most efficient cards in the game right now, and is an auto-include in almost every deck you can play it in, and this deck is no exception. It's a great defensive tool as well as being an army in a can against slower decks. Deathstalker Rexar is a Consecrate attached to one of the best value generating hero powers in the game. Rexar is good enough at grinding out value that he can actually win a game versus control on his own, just by pressing his hero power as much as possible. Mossy Horror is an important inclusion in this meta. Not only is Druid everywhere with spreading plagues abound, but Giggling Inventor is one of the most played cards in the meta. Mossy Horror counters both of those cards with its battle cry and can also help activate the death rattles of your eggs and bombs in a pinch. There are a couple of different schools of thought when building death rattle hunter. Some players choose to drop Prince Keliseth from their list in favor of playing a fireworks tech package. This makes triggering spider bomb a bit more consistent, as well as making for some stronger mid-game turns at the cost of Keliseth power. Aside from dropping Keliseth and having more of a mech synergy, there is some debate within Death Rattle Hunter players as to whether Spirit Singer Umbra should be in the list or not. While not featured in the list from the meta snapshot, Spirit Singer Umbra provides some serious mid-game explosive power to the deck and really shines if you're facing off against slower strategies. As always, the tech you bring to a ladder is going to be dependent on your playstyle and what you're facing, so put a list together and test some some different tech cards up for yourself. Maybe your list will even be featured in the next meta snapshot. Thanks for tuning in to this latest installment of the Boomsday Project Deck Spotlight series, where we bring you the new and best decks coming to standard. Be sure to like and subscribe to the YouTube channel to keep up to date with our most recent videos and be notified when anything goes live. Be sure to follow us on Twitter and leave us suggestions in the comments for what deck you'd like to see spotlighted next. Thanks for watching and happy laddering!